Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. We're getting ready to do uh, another video of the garden just to give a little update. And I think we're getting ready to have a thunderstorm, so I'm going to do this really quick. All right, I'm going to try to not wiggle the camera so much. I did this video a little while ago, and I was playing it back, and it was so jiggly. And the wind was blowing, you couldn't hear, so I'm going to have to do it over. All right. Here we go. Let me see if I can move the camera a little slower this time. All right, these are the yellow squash vines. And we do have a little, couple of little yellow baby squash down there on the end. Here's the lantana, and that comes up every year. We did have one that didn't do as well. And there's one right down there in the middle that I think just completely kicked the bucket this year. Which is fine, right there. Because that way my squash can get more um, sunlight. All right, now we're gonna move around. There's the compost bins are in the back. You probably can't even see those. But here's the uh, cucumbers. And I want you to see those. We've staked them up now. What we're planning to do is run some of that jute wire, you know, between the tops of those uh, posts and, you know, in several little lines down the middle and, you know, just kind of have a wall of cucumbers is really what we're going to have. Now, let me see if I can zoom in there. There's a cucumber right there. Now, that's a pickling cucumber. Now over here, these are my uh, zucchini, and I was a little worried about them because we've got this big tree over here. That's a big oak tree. I think that's a pin oak, maybe. And we've got some crepe myrtle in here. In the background, you can hear the children on the next uh, couple houses over playing. School's out, so they're out playing. Now, way in the back there, that's my... Uh, half runners, green beans, and we're looking forward to them growing up on the vines, on the, excuse me, on the fence, and uh, be able to pick them. We can get behind it and pick them from the front. So they're doing real well uh, because of all the rain we've had. Now, these cucumbers, these last three vines, are um, the, the crispy cucumbers that have the real little seeds and I really like them because you, the skin is not tough at all on them. So this vine's got a couple on it. And there's one hanging right there. And we're going to be picking those today as soon as this rain gets over. Now over here are the two rows of tomatoes. Now these are all heritage tomatoes. Some of them are um, a Campbell's tomato from the 1950s. We have... Um, uh, the purple tomatoes in there, yellow. We have some, uh, I think they're called German Johnson, which is a big uh, pink beefsteak tomato. So uh, I don't, I just planted them wherever and I didn't even label them this year. And here's a look at the green beans again. And we hope to have green beans in maybe about a month. Now, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the uh, way we do the compost. Now if you look back on my videos uh, you will see that this back area here has just a ton of compost in it. And what we do is bury that compost and then put the uh, you know regular topsoil over the top of it. And we do that for a reason. Uh, uh, I believe it was Clemson University did a study several years ago and they found out that if you let the soil harden up on top that it will keep the uh, plants moist underneath and it just sort of forms a skim you know like over the top and that makes uh, it makes it uh, keep the moisture in or holds the moisture in as good as if you put mulch on so we've been doing it that way for really several years now and it's worked just fine now all of these rows are situated so that if I need to water, I can put the water hose down at that end and it will run all the way down to this end and then we've got it 
um, really um, dammed up at, at the back here, so it'll keep the water all in there. Now, so far we haven't had to water. Now, I think you can see the tomato plants are the same way. They've got a little gullied out area right down the middle, and we can put the water hose in down the end, and it'll run all the way down. And of course, that way we're not getting the leaves wet, which definitely helps. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot in our garden. We've, we've got zucchini, yellow squash, cucumber, tomato, and the half runners. Now, over there next to the garage is where we've got the lettuce. Now, we won't be able to eat that lettuce too much longer because as soon as it gets, you know, the temperatures get up a little bit, then the lettuce starts bolting and that's really all there is to it. It kind of ends and then we won't plant lettuce again until the fall. So there's the lettuce. Now I'm very, very proud of my dill. I love dill, especially with fish. I put dill in a lot of stuff, soup, all kinds of stuff. See, aren't those pretty? So what we'll do is dry the dill and you just dry it by Hang, um, we hang it up in the garage upside down and just let it dry out. Now down at the very end, and you can see some of that's toppled over with that hard rain we had yesterday. We've got the lettuce, and I've allowed, that's the lettuce that was uh, planted last fall. And I'm letting it go to seed because I'm going to use those seeds uh, for planting this fall. Now the other thing that we have right in here, and please excuse all the grass because as soon as all this rain gets over, with, we've got to get in this garden and get some of this grass out. This is nasturtiums and you can actually put the leaf in a salad and of course you can put the blooms, of course it's not blooming right now, but you can put the blooms also in a salad and they look real pretty and they taste real peppery. Now back here, past all that grass, uh, we've got basil and I love fresh basil too, especially on pizza. So I've got that, some of that back there. And then here's more lettuce in there. Now see, some of this lettuce is trying to bolt already. Now until it actually bolts, you know, and, and gets the bloom head coming up on it, it's still good to eat. Look how big that leaf is. And we have really enjoyed the lettuce. Now, we planted lettuce last fall, and uh, we were eating salads, oh, you know, I don't know, by probably the 1st of November and uh, we have continued to eat lettuce from the garden. Then I replanted and we uh, have ended up eating lettuce really now. It's, you know, the first of June or the first week of June. And so I haven't really bought lettuce. I can't even remember the last time I bought lettuce. It's so easy to grow. Now it doesn't like hot weather. So, you know, starting about the middle of June all the way up until probably here in South Carolina until the middle of September, sometimes even the first of October, it doesn't do well because it stays so hot. But anyway, now here's, these are bell peppers. Now this area is outside my little fence and uh, that of course has compost in it too. And this is planted under the drip of the garage but still the peppers are doing okay and in front of it I've got uh, more basil now I don't count too much on getting peppers from my garden because they're so inexpensive at the farmers market and you know we'll just let somebody in Mexico grow them and then we'll you know buy them inexpensively and you know cut them up and freeze them but anyway my husband said no let's plant peppers and so well, I started them from seed and planted the peppers. Now, the basil was also started from seed. In fact, I don't really buy any kind of plants other than uh, I buy little uh, flowers sometimes. All right, there's an overall look at the garden. There's the lantana and the squash. You can see the uh, cucumbers growing up. And way back there, that's a big tree growing right next to the compost bins tomatoes, lettuce, and um, basil, and then all those stalks growing up real high, that's the deal. And that was thunder. So 
we'll see you next time and I hope this will um, encourage you to have a little garden in your backyard it's really very easy and it it's very surprising how much you can get out of such a small little area all right see you next time